Welcome back to Lake Pickwick and the Boat US Collegiate Bass Fishing Championship presented by Cabela's. This is Tusculum College's Corey Neese and Nick Hatfield. When we first pulled up, we found Nick netting a three pounder while Corey was fishing in his boxers. We'll let Corey explain. Well, this morning, first cast I made, I got hung up on a crankbait and I reached down to get a plug knocker and I went, my rod went straight in the lake. I just I had to dive in after it. I don't have another cranking rod with me. This is my only one. I knew this is what we were going to catch them on today. And y'all just happened to pull up at the right time to catch me in my boxers. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't think we could, we could catch what we have here already. So we're we're in good shape so far. Corey Brown and Wesley Griner fish for Georgia's Darton State College. They've got a limit and will be culling with this fish. Oh, Might cold. Sure. Yeah. He's fat. Good job, man. Keeps you casting and keeps you confident that there's fish there. So. There ain't no telling you could, at this lake, you can pull up a five or six pounder. It could be a small mouth, a spotted bass, or a large mouth. I mean, this lake's got plenty of fish in it, so you trick them into biting and you'll be in the hunt for the lead. Back on the University of North Alabama's Harville and Manor. That'll help a lot. That'll help the calls. This fish will cull, adding at least a pound to their total weight. What? She googly eyed. That'll cull. Hey, you want me to do some culling? Got another cull tent? Yeah. Okay. Georgetown College's Sean Combs is 38 and is the oldest angler in the series. Having graduated in December, he's fishing the final tournament of his collegiate career. It's like I was telling somebody last night, you know, it's, it's more than just fishing. It's like family with me. You know, when I'm away from home, these are the people that I travel with. And, you know, to be, to be able to go out and fish like this and it be a collegiate sport just, is just awesome. I'm going to miss it. I'm really going to miss this. This has become my family away from home. I've met so many great people. Uh, this organization is just, uh, they, they treat you so, so, so good. You're going to lose them. There you go. Give me here. All right, good job, buddy. All right. This is Tarleton State's <laughs> Zach Zober and Dakota Ebear. One of these are going to be a big fish. OK, look. We're getting out of here. They've picked up a 17-pound limit, ripping chatterbaits through the grass. What do you think? Do you want to leave? I think we should just keep whacking on these two-pound fish. If we need them tomorrow, you know what I'm saying? One more. <laughs> I like catching them. <laughs> I do, too. Stay on there. Stay down. Back on Corey Neese and Nick Hatfield. Throwing a crankbait on deep ledges, they've managed to pick up somewhere around 15 pounds. A good fish here, and they could cull. Oh, we got two, two at one time. One time again. <laughs> oh my god! A white bass and a large. I don't know. Today's going all right though. We we started on a school on down the lake or on back up the lake, and we caught a limit off of it and caught one good one. And then we came here and we've we've done all right here so far. We can get bit, we just need to get those big bites. They're down there. We just it's getting it in front of that right fish. There's a lot of them down there and a lot of them that want to eat it. 